This video is about the XYSR extension to the West Coast XYS block. XYS is a very versatile 16-step sequencer that can generate interesting patterns of gates and values. This is uh, how it sounds. This page valve controls the notes. This page controls the gate. I can change the direction to generate new patterns. So XYSR extends XYS by adding randomization to it, as the R suggests, and I'll walk you through the new features. Uh, so first of all, there's the random mode, as indicated by the dice here. Uh, for the values page, you have two knobs, uh, selecting the minimum and maximum value for the random values. And you can see that as you move the knob, it shows up here what is the minimum value, and when you move it here, what would be the maximum value. So let's say I want a completely new melody uh, spanning one octave, so between C1 and C2. Click Apply, and all the notes have changed. This is a bit low, so let's try C2 and C3. Let's try C3 and C4. In the gate pages, uh, you have only one knob, and that indicates the uh, on chance. So when you click apply, what is the chance for each one of those buttons to become on? So the higher the knob, the more on you will have. The lower the knob, the more off you will have. Let's try something. Now, what if I want to only change a few of the notes or a few of the gates? This is where the lock buttons come in. So let's say I want to keep the melody as is and only change a few notes. So I'm going to lock all of those. When I click apply, uh, it's only going to change the notes that are not locked. So if I click apply right now, nothing changes. Let's listen to what we have. Let's say I just want to change these ones. Now let's look here on the left. There's two new inputs, RV and RG, which accept gate signals. When a gate signal hits one of them, uh, it's the same thing happens as if you click the apply button. So if I connect a gate to RV, it would be the same thing as clicking apply on the val page. Let's add a few more to the randomization. So notice every time a gate is sent to RV, the notes are randomized. And the same would be for RG. So let's do this. Let's look at the mutation mode. So if random mode applies a totally random value within the min and max ranges, mutation works a bit different by moving the value by a specific amount in a bipolar fashion. So you have two knobs. The first one controls how much uh, the knob moves when it mutates. So a little value means that it mutates a little every time. And the second one is about chance. So what is the chance for mutation to occur every time you click apply? So 
let's maybe load the preset from scratch. And let's say I want the, um, mm, let's say we want the melody to mutate ever so slightly every time the RV gate is hit. So I'm going to put this to 5, which is the lowest value. Put this to 10, so we will hear something eventually. And uh, every four clicks, the melody should mutate a bit. If this is on. In the gates and uh, page, you have only one knob, and that is for the chance for mutation. So, um, basically for a gate there's only two values, so mutation is only go on or go off. So, if you have a full 100% chance of mutation, every time applied happens, uh, the gates just flip uh, their state. Oh, it wasn't in mutation mode. But if you have a lower chance of mutation, they will just uh, slowly change their state a bit closer to random mode. Let's set this all on. Have a little chance of mutation every time apply hits. time the rhythm will evolve and mutate. Some will go off, some will go on. Note that the uh, X and Y page share the mode, but not Val. So you can have Val in mutation mode and X and Y in random mode, or vice versa. And another caveat is that apply for gates... Oh, let's turn this on. Apply for gates applies both for XG and YG, but you can give them different chances of mutation and randomization. That's it. I developed this for the purpose of jamming, but it's also good for idea generation, uh, generative transition, and lots of other things that I'm sure I haven't thought of yet. So, thanks for listening, and I hope you find this useful.